Teapot so far has done a very good job at developing characters who didn't really have much going for them in previous seasons. Many characters really started to come into their own and shine on screen. But of course, with such a large cast, some characters have to be left behind. I said that if my other video did well, I would make this list, and oh my god, it did so much better than I ever would have hoped for. And I'm a man of my word, so here is top 5 BFB contestants who got worse in Teapot. This list was honestly much harder to make than my other one, and it'll probably be a lot more controversial too. And it's only a top 5 instead of a top 10, because Teapot has actually done a really good job with most of the characters, and there really wasn't enough room for a full top 10. This list is based off of how these characters change in the eyes of the viewers and in my eyes. If you disagree with any of this, that is okay! This list was made as of episode 6, and in future videos this could be very outdated, and some people listed here could have gotten a lot better. Also, I would like to mention that no current eliminated contestants are on this list, as I feel none of them really got majorly worse in this season, but they were just outshined and outvoted by the other contestants. Okay, now it's finally time to see the list! Number 5. I was never a huge Barfback fan, but in BFB, she had some pretty cool stuff going for her. She had a relationship with Spongy, her rivalry with Lollipop, and people thought Barf Molecules were infecting her brain. All of these things made her a pretty sympathetic, likable character. But here in Teapot, she lost all of those. She has no major personality traits from what I can see, and is just a character who just exists. While in the one elimination in Teapot she did attend, she got the third most votes. But she was botted. She was botted earlier in the round, so that avoided a lot of suspicion, but still. It's quite clear that she got a suspicious jump in votes. Please stop spamming votes for people, it really does ruin the show and it's quite selfish. Barfbag is now just a normal person. But not even to where her personality is the normal person or the voice of reason. She just exists. Maybe we'll see more of Barpeg in the future, but for now, she stays at number 5. Number 4. I feel like this will be my most controversial pick. Many would argue she mostly got derailed in BFB, but in my opinion, I think she's even worse in Teapot. The person I am talking about is Book. While you may not have liked Book in BFB, she was a lot more interesting than she is in Teapot, and that is why she is on this list. She was a very major character, and had a super fun arc to watch with Taco. And I think Book's redemption arc was one of the best ones out of all of BFDI. Wait, what? I think this was super well done and satisfying to the viewers. She was even safe the next elimination, despite being the clear vote before that. By the end of post-split BFB, she had the potential to go on a really cool redemption journey. And even at the start of Teapot, it seemed like they were going to set her up for a personal growth journey and finding new friends. But really, they haven't done much with that, and they kind of dropped it, which is really a shame. Even in BFDIA, she was super fun to watch in Free Smart. I think that was her best season. The main problem with Book is that nobody that she majorly interacted with in the past to make her interesting is in this season. Except for Ice Cube, but they only talked like once. Ice Cube, do you want to... <laughs> Okay then! And really, that was probably one of Book's most interesting scenes in Teapot. For Book's sake, they should have at least had Taco stay in Teapot, because now she has nothing to make her interesting. If nothing changes, I do not realistically seeing her surviving another elimination. Which is upsetting, because she has so much more potential that could be fleshed out. Number 3! Honestly, the way Pin is acting in Teapot really confuses me. Pin has probably been the most inconsistent character throughout the whole BFDI series. In BFDI, she was a mean, bossy, arrogant jerk. In BFDIA, she out of nowhere completely switched up into a much more likable version of herself. In BFB, she was self-conscious, and she gained the confidence to help her team gain confidence, and even became an advice giver. And now in Teapot, she completely undid all of her growth, and has become bossy again. But not nearly as bossy as in BFDI though. I mean, it's fine that she put her foot down when she thought her team was cheating, she just wanted to play with integrity. But even after getting the thumbs up from 2, she still tried to stop her team, and that really rubbed a lot of viewers the wrong way. In BFB, she had a really cool arc, where she went from receiving the advice, to giving the advice. She was the main person who helped Book really grow. I actually know how you feel. It's hard to patch things up after you've hurt people. Even once you learn that you should try. But in a situation like this, 
I think it's best to think about what they want instead of what you want. Instead of trying to make them happy with you, you should just try to make them happy. What happened to this pen? They just undid all of our growth in BFB. The main thing that sets me off though is this. For building the tallest stack by far, teammates gets a token. Thanks! Pin actually had the audacity to push her team out of the way and take the prize for herself when they won the challenge because of the very thing she tried to stop. Uh, it's better to do what they want instead of what you want. And then she goes and does this. That really goes against everything she was building up for in BFB. Many people who used to really like Pen are kind of starting to turn on her. The only reason she's not higher on this list is because at her elimination, she got the most votes, so clearly some people still like her. But to most people, she is a lot more unlikable than before. The reason she's on this list is pretty much the opposite reason of what I said for Buck. But Pin was more interesting in BFB. Now she's just losing a lot of her old fanbase. And if she keeps it up, then sadly I do not expect her going as far as most would have expected out of her this season. Number 10! Tennis Ball fell out of the good graces in a lot of people's eyes. For a long time, Tennis Ball was a fan favorite. He was getting some of the most likes and least dislikes in BFDIA. In the past, I never really understood why Tennis Ball was such a favorite, nor did I care for him that much. But I also did not dislike him. He was always just kind of okay to me. But starting to look back, I kind of do get the appeal of Tennis Ball. But sadly, Tennis Ball has become a shadow of his former self. In earlier seasons, Tennis Ball was a cool inventor, he was kinda clumsy, and he was always Golf Ball's second in command. But in Teapot, he really lost most of his qualities which made him so charming to people. Now his main trait is just a second in command to Golf Ball, and that's really it. To be honest, I think the main reason he lost all of his cool traits is because they all went to Basketball, who I like way more than I ever liked Tennis Ball. Now really all Tennis Ball has is his friendship with Golf Ball, and his clumsiness, but we haven't really seen much of that. But his friendship with Golf Ball is a pretty toxic one. It is not a healthy friendship at all, and it is not a good look for tennis ball. No! I will not embrace it! It's terrible! Whoa! Be careful where you bounce! That's it, Pen! You've crossed a line! Don't hit golf ball like that! In that clip, golf ball hit Pen first, then Pin hit golf ball back, then tennis ball came in and got mad at Pen even though it was golf ball who started it. No really healthy friendship will have someone come in and blindly defend their friend in a situation like that. It makes Tennis Ball look really submissive, and he's really just enabling Golf Ball to keep this behavior up. People now keep calling Tennis Ball Simp Ball, which I honestly really hate. What they really need to do with Tennis Ball is he needs to be more assertive with Golf Ball. He needs to not always defend her and let her know when she is wrong so she can improve. That would be the best thing for both of their characters. But part of me doesn't want that to happen, because then Eraser might get eliminated, who is the best and most underrated character in Teapot. But whatever! For Tennis Ball's sake, that is what needs to happen. And how he is acting now is not likable at all, and if he wants any chance of making it deep, he needs to make some changes. Instead of doing honorable mentions, or I guess dishonorable mentions in this case, I will be looking at characters who are not on this list that people might disagree with, and I will say my reasons for them not being on here. Saw. I was never really that big of a Saw fan, so nothing really changed about her to me. Foldy. She really started getting hated towards the end of BFB, and that just remained in Teapot. Cloudy. Nothing about him really changed, he just happened to get the least amount of votes. Grassy. I actually like Grassy more this season. I think that the only reason Grassy's getting a lot more hate this season is because of his popularity, not because of anything he actually did. Naily. People say her personality was stolen by price tag, but that is not true at all. Nelly didn't get worse in Teapot, she just got outvoted. And now, the person I feel had the biggest derailment in Teapot is Clock. I never really cared for Clock, but Clock was a pretty decent character in BFB. Like I said in my previous video, Clock was pretty much the voice of reason. He was the normal character, but he was also smart. He seemed to be one of the most logical and rational ones too, being the one to stand up for Teardrop when others were... Yeah. But in Teapot, he is just awful. 
he went against everything he said while defending Teardrop by trying to force Winner to perform when they clearly were uncomfortable doing so. And they already had another act ready to go. Normally, I don't care when someone loses a challenge for their team. It normally doesn't change my opinion of them, but come on, Clock, that was ridiculous. Clock lost all of his sense of boundaries and always makes Winner super uncomfortable with whatever he is doing. I mean, I guess you could argue that Winner actually never confronted Clock about it before episode 4, but come on, read the room a little bit, Clock. Um, I bet um, Clock is more interesting this season, though. I mean, not really. He's just an uncomfortable presence. And after he got confronted in episode 4, the whole thing was kind of just dropped. No redemption or anything. It was just left at that. I will never understand how people voted for Clock after episode 4. What qualities would make a person want to vote for him? If you did vote for Clock though, that is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But I don't trust you. But, that's just my opinion. What do you think? Who should have been on this list and who should not have been on this list? If you enjoyed this video, please, please, please subscribe and like the video. It helps me so much. I take a lot of time to make these videos for you and I would really appreciate it. If you want to give me more video ideas, help me with future videos, or even be in future videos, then join my Discord. And thank you so much for the support on my last video, and for getting me to 2,000 subscribers. It really means the world to me, and it helps me stay motivated to make more videos like this for all of you. That's pretty much it. I appreciate you watching this all the way through, and I really, really hope to see you again. Farewell, Derpy Doofus Nation.